Hello students, welcome back to your one and only favorite YouTube channel, Tomasang Tutorial. Myself, Kishan Kulum, and today we shall learn the easiest way to balance a chemical equation, okay? If you watch this video till the end, I guarantee it, you will perfectly learn how to balance a chemical equation. And you will never forget this for your entire life for sure, okay? Now let's begin. We have a chemical equation here and we will balance this equation, okay? Potassium dichromate reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce potassium chloride, chromium chloride, water and chlorine, okay? Now let's balance this chemical equation. To balance this chemical equation, the first step is very very simple, okay? Just write A, B, C, D, E and F. Depending upon the number of compounds, you keep on writing the English alphabet. F, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F. Finished. First step is finished. Now, the second step is we write K, potassium. We have potassium, chromium, oxygen, hydrogen and chlorine. We have one, two, three, four, five elements reacting. There are five elements, isn't it? So, we write each individual elements. Okay, first, we have potassium here. We write potassium. After that, we see the number of potassium. Two, isn't it? We have two here. Two into A. We have to multiply this, okay? 2 into A is 2A. So there is no other potassium in the left hand side. So now we move on to the right hand side. To move on to the right hand side, we need to put equal to sign here. Now we have potassium here, isn't it? In the right hand side. So we don't have number below potassium here. We just consider 1 here. So 1 into C is C. Okay. Now no other potassium in the right hand side. So let's move on to the next element that is chromium. Are you getting me? Yes, perfectly. Potassium, sorry, chromium. We have 2 in the base of chromium. So 2 into A is 2A. So we don't have chromium in the left hand side now. In the right hand side, we have chromium here. So in the right hand side means we need to put equal to sign in between. So 1 into D is D, isn't it? After that, we have oxygen. We have oxygen. We have 7 in the base of oxygen. 7 into A is 7A. Now we don't have any oxygen in the left hand side, so put equal to sign. And then we see oxygen here. So there is no number in the base, means we should understand there is 1, isn't it? 1 into E is E. Okay. Now, after that, we come to the next element that is hydrogen. Are you getting me? Hydrogen. We have 1 in the base of hydrogen. 1 into B is B. So equal to, in the right hand side, we have hydrogen here only. 2 into A is 2E. I hope you are getting me. After that, we have chlorine here. Chlorine. There is no number here, means 1. 1 into B is B. In the right hand side, we have here, here, and here. There are three chlorines, isn't it? So B equal to. 1 into B is B. Now, if you go to the right hand side, we need to put equal to sign here, okay? B equal to 1 into C. 1 into C is C plus 3 into D is. We have 3 in the base of chlorine here. So, 3 into D is 3D plus 2 into F. Isn't it? 2 into F is 2F. Okay, I hope you got this. Second step is complete. Now, among this A, B, C, D, E, F, the alphabet which occurs the most. We, we should choose the alphabet which occurs the most and let that alphabet we suppose it equals to 1. Okay, here we can see A, A and A. A is being repeated three times, isn't it? So, let A equals to 1. Okay, A equals to 1. Now C equals to, from this equation, from this equation, C equals to, 2 into A, isn't it? C equals to 2 into A, 2 into A, A means 1, 2 into A means 1, A equals to 1, so 2 1s are 2, C means 2, isn't it? D means, D means 2A, D means 2 into 1, A is 1, so 2 into 1 is Two. Are you getting me? Yes. E means. E means. A means 
1 3 means e equal to 7 eh? age 1 so 7 into 1 7 and then we have this two from this equation a c d e now we need to find b isn't it we need to find b b equals to from this equation b equals to 2e 2e e means what 7 e means 7 e means 7 so b equal to 2 into 7 b equal to 2 into e means 7 isn't it 2 7 the 14 so b equal to 2 7 the 14 are you getting me 2e means e means 7 we need to put the value of e here 2 7 the 14 okay now from this equation we will find the value of f okay because we have a b c d e now f is needed isn't it we have c plus 3d plus 2f equal to b isn't it or c means we have 2 plus 3 d means we have 2 plus 2f equal to b means we have 14 isn't it b means 14 are you getting me b is 14 or 2 plus 3 to the 6 plus 2f equal to 14 or f equal to 14 minus 2 plus 6 is 8 you take this plus 8 to the right, right hand side plus 8 to the right hand side it becomes minus 8 divided by these two comes in the denominator or f is equal to 14 minus 8 is 6 6 upon 2 is 3 isn't it 2 3 the 6 are you getting it yes now it is everything is complete now just what you need to do is instead of a you write 1 here instead of b because a is 1 isn't it instead of b we write b equals 14 okay b equals to 14 instead of c instead of this c we write c equals to 2 instead of d d means 2 instead of d we write 2 instead of this e e means 7 instead of f f means 3 isn't it f means 3 okay i hope you got this now no need to write 1 isn't it 1 if there is one then no need to write okay now let's check whether it is balanced or not potassium is 2 k2 here we have 2 potassium chromium is 2 here we have 2 chromium oxygen is 7 we have 7 oxygen now comes chlorine 14 chlorine this 14 is for hydrogen and chlorine both isn't it now let's check hydrogen 14 hydrogen we have 7 to the 14 hydrogen chlorine is 14 we have 2 chlorine plus 3 to the 6 chlorine 6 plus 2 is 8 chlorine isn't it 3 to the 6 chlorine 8 plus 6 is 14 chlorine oh everything is balanced isn't it you got this this equation is now balanced so we can erase this and write equal the sign in between this okay i hope you got this and hey please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications for more video uploads like this okay now let's take another example another example so that you understand more clearly okay oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water okay let's balance this equation first step is just write a b c and d okay a b c and d this c should be a little smaller because we, we, we will get confused with this c c 
Okay. Now, first element is carbon, isn't it? C. So four into A is four A. We don't have any other carbon in the left hand side. So before going to the right hand side, we put equal to sign. We have carbon here, so we have one in the base of carbon. One into C is C. Now comes the element hydrogen. Isn't it? Ten into A is ten A. No hydrogen in the left hand side, so equal to in the right hand side. Here we have hydrogen. Two into D is two D. Now another element is oxygen. Okay, two into B is two B. Equal to we have oxygen here and here, isn't it? So two into C is two C plus we have only one in the base of oxygen here. One into D is D. First step is finished. Now the second step is we should choose that alphabet which is occurring the most. Okay. Now let us choose A. A is occurring two times here also. Let A equals to one. Now C equals to C equals to four A. A means one. Four into one is four, isn't it? C means four. Now D equals to two D equals to two D equals to ten A. Ten A A means four. Ten four is forty. Sorry, sorry. A means one. Ten into one. A means one, isn't it? Ten into one is ten. Or D equals to two comes in the denominator. Two four is ten. D means five. Now comes the term base equation. We have a, we have c, d. We need b, isn't it? Two b equals to two b equals to two c. C means four plus d. D means five. D means five. Or two b equals to two four is eight plus five. Or B equals to eight plus five, thirteen upon two, isn't it? Now our second step is finished. Instead of this A, we just erase this and write A equals to one. We have one here, okay? Instead of B, we write B equals to thirteen by two. Instead of B, we write thirteen by two, okay? Now instead of C, we write four. Instead of C, we just need to write four. Are you getting me? So instead of D, we write five. Instead of D, we just write five. I hope you got this. Now this equation is balanced, but here we have two in the denominator. Means there is a fractional number here, isn't it? So in any chemical equation, we should not have a fractional number like this. So to to remove this two from the denominator, what we do is we just simply multiply the whole equation by two. Okay. Multiplying by two, whole equation. What happens? Two ones are two. Now comes two into thirteen by two, isn't it? Thirteen by two into two. This two and two cancels and remains thirteen. Thirteen by two into two is thirteen. It becomes thirteen only because two and two gets cancelled. Now two four is eight. This becomes eight. And two five the this becomes ten, isn't it? Okay, now it is this also. Now this equation is balanced. How many carbon? Two four the eight carbon. Here we have eight carbon. How many hydrogen? Two ten the twenty hydrogen, isn't it? We have ten to the twenty hydrogen. How many oxygen? Thirteen to the twenty six. Eight to the sixteen. Sixteen oxygen plus ten oxygen is twenty six oxygen. The equation is balanced. I hope you understood the method how to balance a chemical equation, isn't it? The method was really easy. It will be very very helpful for you to solve stoic stoichiometry, sorry, stoichiometric calculations. Okay, and hey, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications for more video uploads. Thank you.